All right, here we go installing a new package of bees. Um, going into the uh, lands hive, which is a deep frame hive. We've got our smoker going outside. I'll put these guys down and open up the hive body here. We're going to pull out all of these uh, frames because ultimately I'm going to dump the bees in to the main body over here and then I'm going to put the bee barn, the white package that they came in, into this part of the body so that the bees that are remaining in there can climb their way out into the main part of the hive. Which there's a divider board here, there's space for them to get under that and uh, these frames will just sit out here in my bee house until uh, for the next day or so until the bees get in and uh, will have cleared themselves out of the bee barn um, then I'll pull that and that will just be a uh, tool that I can use in the future for transporting other bees now these frames that I've had in here have had honey in them, um, so I had this parchment paper on the bottom to catch it. I will put that right outside of the, uh, the hive here so that the bees can clean it up, but I'm not going to leave it in since it is uh, just making a mess right now or just become something I'd have to remove later. So let's open this up a little bit and we'll just pop the bees right in. I also think I'm going to rearrange a frame, so I'm going to have two frames that have both honey and drawn comb uh, for the bees to use right away as resources next to each other. So I'm assuming the queen wants to start laying relatively quickly. She's got a place to do so without them having to draw out new stuff. So I'll put those there. We'll drop the bees right between these frames. All right, we're going to fish the queen out. Oh, here's one guy who's escaped already a little bit, which is fine. This is the tab for the queen cage, so we're going to pull the resources here. And you want to come? You come up. I will get you situated. There you go. It's a little guy. Right, I'm not going to bother knocking things down because we're just going to go right in here anyway. And the less I disturb them, the better off they're going to be. This is good timing. This does not have a lot of resources in it. Fairly light. So we're just going to set that in the bottom out of the way. Now we're going to look at this queen here. I've got, these bees are just holding on to this. I could probably live release this queen because these guys are obviously feeding her. Very friendly. Um, I'm not going to do a live release just because uh, I want to be extra uh, cautious. But this looks like that situation where you could do a live release because these are not aggressive bees. They are just totally protecting her, uh, feeding her. There's no stinging action happening. The amount of the cluster that's on there is very uh, encouraging. So we're just going to shake those guys off. Let's see our queen. She is alone. No uh, extra... Um, uh, uh, attendance to worry about. So we're gonna put her on one of these frames and uh, let's see, let's move this. And you know, we might just live release her. She's tiny, she's a tiny little dark queen. No, I will get the marshmallow. I think I left the marshmallows in the car. I might have to go get them. Um, 
she is going to sit right here on this frame horizontally. All right. As you can see, these are not aggressive bees. They're flying around because they're trying to find her. But they are pretty darn friendly. So, all right. I'm going to go get some uh, wire and the marshmallows and uh, get her taken care of. All right, I'm back. Got some twist ties to attach the queen cage to the frame. Those workers down there have already started attending to her again, as you see. So those are very happy. Maybe I do just do a live release. Although, no, I think I will do the extra careful thing just because. So we're just going to attach that queen cage here. Well, we're going to actually pull the cork out and get uh, the marshmallow in there first. And the marshmallow. I'm going to go in half with this marshmallow because, again, I don't think she needs to be in there very long. I mean, she's doing great given the behavior of these bees. All right, so let's just pull that cork. Here's the uh, cork right there. bit of marshmallow and we just swap these out. Out comes the cork, in goes the bit of marshmallow. The bees will eat through that in almost no time but they will be releasing the queen themselves instead of me doing it for them. All right now we are going to pull this frame up so we have a little better access to it. Attach the queen cage to it. And uh, that should be it. It should be that straightforward. I need an extra couple inches on my twist tie, so we're going to add another twist tie to it. So everything is always going to be an inch too short. Nature of life.
right, there we go. The queen is in her cage. She's hiding a little bit behind the uh, wax here. We'll pull some of that off so you can see. And that is the queen cage in place. Queen is in there. They will release her very quickly uh, by eating through the marshmallow that I put right there. And we will set that inside so they can start working on it right away. So now we are going to do the dump from the barn here into the cage. So here's where you're going to see the bees start flying in a significant way. But even that, these are not even close to aggressive bees. Um, these seem super friendly. So I think there's a way to open the front of this. Give me a bigger opening so I don't have to pop them down through this small hole on the top. I just got to find that. Maybe these. Just using nitrite gloves because that just keeps them from smelling my body. If it was warmer out, I probably wouldn't have even bothered with the gloves. Um, it's only about 45 degrees, although it's sunny, so it feels pretty nice. Uh, but that helps keep the bees friendly. Looks like this front's coming off, which is going to make the release easier. reasons I want to do a gentle release on these guys is there will be some bees that are dead from transport. So the fewer of them we put in the hive, then the less work it is for the bees to have to clean out the hive later. So we're just going to do as gentle a release as possible. Now here you can see the bees. There's the door open. That's the bees in the pack. You look at how they're all festooned here, hanging off of the thing. Now see, these are very friendly bees. You can just get right in here and touch them, and they're not even remotely interested in stinging because they're in swarm mode. They're looking for a home. They don't have anything to defend at the moment except for the queen, and she's in there. So unless I crush a bee, these guys are pretty much uh, benign. So I'm gonna move these, make my space a little bigger, and then we're just gonna start shaking them down. Just like that. Now there's a whole lot of bees down there. Okay, so my plan of not putting any dead bees in there, clearly I probably put a bunch of them in there. Um, but they will clean that out. I will open up the front. Now, I haven't even used smoke. I've got smoke out there. Haven't had to use it because these guys are super friendly. So far. So I'm just going to close the top up, put the divider board in, put that back in. Um, there's so many bees down there. It's very cool. Alright, let's uh, move this over. And do our best not to crush any bees as we push them into place here. There's not even very many bees flying in here. These are just relaxed bees. Oh, there's a big old piece of comb that fell off. Let me get that out of there and let them clean it up outside. So you don't want to leave a chunk of comb like that in the bottom. But look at this, they're already eating at it, so they're hungry for sure. They're going to clean this up, so I'll put it in the other side. So they can clean that up on the other side from where the dividing board is. Here's your friendly bees, just hanging out. Now 
and we'll move this whole thing over, push them all together. Oh, you can see, got bees fanning here. They're letting them know that this is the hive. This is, you know, they're fanning the, the queen pheromone out to uh, let the other bees know this is home. They'll start doing that at the front entrance when I open it. Here's another one doing the thing. All right, I'm gonna press these close, close up the hive, and then uh, go to work, I guess. Let's see. stuck. So when closing this you'll be just a little uh, conservative so you don't crush any bees on the way in. Alright, they're basically set. Let's put our divider board in. And then again we're going to put the uh, bee bar in the package that they came in right inside there as well. Um, yeah. I'm trying to do this without uh, causing anybody any damage down on the bottom. And there they go. So that is a hive. It is set. We'll put this feeder out somewhere where they can still get at it, um, but not inside there since I'm going to put their bee barn in there. I will also put sugar water in here if it looks like they need it uh, when I check them uh, tomorrow or Wednesday. Today's Monday. So let's set this guy up here. Let's put this guy down in here. Those bees will find their way out. No problem. And uh, that's about it. These guys will also figure out how to get into the hive um, for the moment. Let's uh, brush these guys down. I'm going to put them out here. Pushed a couple bees on their way in, but everyone else looks pretty good. So we're just going to brush the rest of them inside. Come on, come on. I don't want to crush you when I put the lid on. Here comes the lid. Uh, go look at the outside and uh, see how uh, open up the front mainly all right so here's the front this is going to be their opening open that up there they are they will start fanning from here to let the uh, rest of the hive know where they are and uh, uh, let's see, there we go. See the hole there? So this opens and shuts. You'll leave it wide open. These bees are already collecting uh, the honey from that sheet. Um, so for the moment, I've got lots, lots of confidence. They've got lots of resources. I will check that, see if I need to do supplemental stuff. But they basically have two full frames of honey in there. They've got this to clean up out here. They're going to eat it. They're going to fan, let, let them, the rest of the hive know... Uh, where the entrance is and that they're happy and uh, yeah that's about it now it's uh, time to go